week that we wanted to call. Uh, Casey White and Vicki White are in custody. Uh, there was a pursuit uh, this afternoon in Evansville, Indiana. Uh, Evansville, Indiana is about 219 miles from here. Uh, the U.S. Marshals were in pursuit of a black uh, Ford pickup. I think it was an F Ford 150. Um, and uh, Casey White was driving that vehicle. Uh, Vicki White was a passenger. Uh, as a, during the pursuit, the pickup truck wrecked. Uh, Casey White surrendered. Vicki White has been transported to the hospital uh, for treatment. So this has ended a, uh, a very long and uh, uh, stressful and challenging week and a half. It ended the way that, uh, that we knew it would. They are in custody. Uh, what I'm very thankful for tonight is that no one was hurt. Uh, no citizens were hurt. No law enforcement officers were hurt. Uh, as a result of this escape. Uh, Casey White is now back in custody and I, I cannot express enough to the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force for the assistance they've been in this. Uh, their agents are actually the ones that were involved in the pursuit. Uh, and my, my team of investigators who worked diligently alongside the U.S. Marshals Task Force, uh, all the other partners and players in this, the least of which is not the media. You guys have made this happen. You've kept this story out there. You've kept it on, on everybody's mind. And the tips, uh, what led us to the arrest and, and the uh, uh, capture of, of them today was a tip that came from citizens. And those they call those tips in because of the coverage y'all have provided us. You don't know how much I personally appreciate the way y'all have helped us in this case. We got a dangerous man off the street today uh, he is never going to see the light of day again, and uh, you know that's a good thing for not just our community, but that's a good thing for this country. So thank you uh, very much for your help. Uh, I'll be glad to take a few questions. What's the nature? I'm not sure. Uh, I, my understanding is that they had found, uh, located them at a hotel, and uh, they ran, saw, spotted them, ran, and the, the pursuit ensued. Sure. sure. Uh, what was so challenging about this escape was, you know, most escapes from a county jail especially, uh, they're not planned, they're just sort of spontaneous. Uh, there are no resources available, no plan in place about what am I going to do when I get out here other than just run. Uh, this, this escape was obviously well planned and, and calculated. Uh, a lot of preparation went into this. They had plenty of resources, had cash, had vehicles, had everything they needed to pull this off. And that's what's made this last week and a half so challenging. Uh, you know, we, we were starting from ground zero, and not only that, we were uh, started, uh, they got a six hour head start on us. So it, it's been a very, and this is this just speaks volumes to the effectiveness and the efficient, uh, uh, efficiency, it speaks volumes to the effectiveness and efficiency of the United States Marshal Service. Uh, this is what they do. They track down fugitives, and today is obvious that they do it well. Is there any reason to that you've learned from this entire situation? Well, the lesson that I think I've learned, and I think everybody's learned, you don't know who you can trust. You know, I had every bit of trust in Vicki White. Uh, she has been an exemplary employee. And what in the world provoked her or prompted her to pull a stunt like this, I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever know. But uh, 